What enduring qualities do you think make the 1964 movie The Killers an everlasting symbol of the industry? Perhaps you vividly recall the first time you watched this film. Today, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic movie. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into the world of The Killers. This gripping film, directed by Don Siegel and based on Ernest Hemingway's short story, is a timeless noir thriller that continues to captivate audiences. Its enduring appeal lies in its compelling narrative and memorable performances. Random facts about the movie The Killers was not only a remake of a 1946 film, but it also marked the first feature film appearance of Hollywood icon Ronald Reagan as a villain. This shift from his earlier heroic roles was a notable career move. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. We can't wait to hear your stories and reflections on this cinematic classic. The Killers, a 1964 film directed by Don Siegel, is a stylish and gritty crime thriller based on a short story by Ernest Hemingway. The story revolves around a former race car driver, Johnny North, who becomes entangled in a complex web of crime and deception. When two hitmen arrive in a small town to eliminate Johnny, it triggers a series of flashbacks that reveal his troubled past and his involvement with a femme fatale, Sheila Farr. The film is marked by its neo-noir aesthetics, with moody cinematography and sharp dialogue evoking a sense of paranoia and moral ambiguity. Iconic for its performances, particularly Lee Marvin's chilling portrayal of a remorseless hitman and its sharp, non-linear narrative style, The Killers has had a lasting influence on the crime thriller genre and remains a classic in cinematic history. According to Don Siegel in his autobiography, Ronald Reagan first refused the role of Browning because he was afraid that playing a bad character would interfere with his image as an actor or maybe a politician. However, he eventually accepted the role after having lunch with Siegel. The 1964 movie The Killers had an interesting behind-the-scenes story. Ronald Reagan, who would later become the President of the United States, initially turned down the role of Browning because he was concerned that it might harm his public image. He worried that portraying a negative character might affect his career, both as an actor and a potential politician. However, after a lunch meeting with director Don Siegel, Reagan eventually accepted the role. This decision played a pivotal role in the movie's cast and the history of American politics. Reagan's change of heart and his portrayal of Browning and the Killers marked a significant moment in his acting career and, as history would show, his transition into politics. This film not only showcases Reagan's versatility as an actor, but also his willingness to take on challenging roles. The 1964 movie, The Killers, is not only a classic in its own right, but is also remembered for the role it played in the life of Ronald Reagan, who would go on to become the 40th president of the United States. The Killers, a 1964 film, marked the final appearance of Ronald Reagan on the big screen. This crime thriller holds the distinction of being the last movie in Reagan's acting career. It's a notable piece of cinematic history due to this fact. Reagan later transitioned into politics, becoming the 40th president of the United States. The Killers is an interesting watch for those curious about this part of Reagan's life. The movie's plot revolves around a race car driver and insurance investigator, adding depth to this classic film. Additionally, it's worth noting that 24 blind children from the Foundation for the Junior Blind in Los Angeles served as extras in the film. This organization later changed its name to Wayfinder Family Services in 2018. Their involvement brings a unique and heartwarming aspect to the movie, showcasing the power of inclusivity in the film industry. So, The Killers not only features Ronald Reagan's final performance, but also has a heartwarming connection with the Foundation for the Junior Blind, making it a noteworthy film in the history of cinema. The movie also boasts a 1962 Shelby AC Cobra 260 race car, driven by the character Johnny North. This iconic American-built car has a rich history and significant value. Depending on its racing background and previous owners, it can be worth well over $1 million. The first Cobra ever made was sold at auction in 2016 for a staggering $13.75 million, making it one of the most sought-after and expensive American-built cars ever produced. 
In conclusion, The Killers is more than just a film. It's a piece of cinematic history with Ronald Reagan's final performance, a heartwarming connection with the foundation for the junior blind, and the inclusion of a rare and valuable Shelby AC Cobra 260. This movie is a unique blend of entertainment and historical significance. The 1964 movie The Killers had an interesting history. Originally, it was supposed to be part of a series of made-for-TV movies produced by NBC as a project called Project 120. The film, initially titled Johnny North, was planned to be the first made-for-TV movie shot in color and had the longest shooting schedule for such a film at that time, lasting four weeks. However, due to its violence and sexual content, the title was changed and it was released in movie theaters instead. This decision marked a significant shift in the film's trajectory as it transitioned from a television production to a theatrical release. Don Siegel wrote the original script, which he later handed over to Gene Alcoon for the final script. This transition from TV to the big screen resulted in The Killers becoming a notable entry in the crime thriller genre of the 1960s. Furthermore, the film contains subtle nods to its predecessor, the 1946 movie The Killers. One of these nods was a scene featuring a building with a vertical marquee that read Barnett's from top to bottom. In the 1946 version, the role of ex-con Charleston was played by character actor Vince Barnett. In summary, the 1964 movie The Killers had a unique journey from a TV production under the title Johnny North to its eventual release in theaters due to its content. This transition and the subtle references to the original film made it an intriguing addition to the crime thriller genre of its time. The 1964 movie The Killers is not only renowned for its thrilling action sequences, but also for its clever utilization of Ford automobiles throughout the film. This strategic placement of Ford vehicles added an extra layer of excitement and style to the narrative. It's fascinating to note that the film prominently showcased several Ford models, effectively turning them into iconic elements of the movie. In particular, The Killers featured the 1963-1964 Cobra racing cars, equipped with various Ford components, and proudly displaying the Ford badges. These Cobras were not just ordinary cars, they were symbols of speed, power, and the cutting-edge technology of their time. The inclusion of these racing legends in the movie's race track scenes perfectly aligned with the racing aesthetics of the era, making the film even more captivating for car enthusiasts and general audiences alike. This creative and strategic use of Ford automobiles in The Killers serves as a testament to the power of product placement in the world of cinema. It not only helped the Ford company showcase their innovative, and stylish vehicles but also added an authentic touch to the film, making it a memorable experience for viewers. In conclusion, The Killers stands as a prime example of how the integration of iconic automobiles can enhance the storytelling and aesthetics of a movie. The 1963-1964 Cobra racing cars with Ford components and badges continue to be celebrated for their contribution to the film's cinematic excellence and their presence is a testament to the era's racing culture and Ford's impact on it. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the enigmatic world of the 1964 classic, The Killers, I invite you to pause and reflect. This cinematic masterpiece, with its compelling narrative and timeless performances, has a unique place in the annals of film history. It's a story that transcends time, resonating with the human experience on profound levels. Perhaps you've been captivated by Lee Marvin's brooding presence or struck by the charisma of John Cassavetes. Maybe you found yourself drawn into the intriguing complexities of their characters, or you simply admired the artistry of the film's cinematography and direction. The Killers offers us a glimpse into the dark corners of our own souls, a mirror reflecting the choices we make when faced with life's harsh realities. It's a reminder that life, much like this movie, is a blend of light and shadow, and that every action has consequences, often unforeseen. Now, I urge you to share your thoughts and memories of this cinematic gem. What is it about the killers that has left an indelible mark on your soul? Your personal connection to this film is a vital thread in the rich tapestry of its history. Share your insights, your favorite moments, or the lessons you've drawn from it. Let's celebrate the power of storytelling and the collective impact it has on our lives.
Thank you for joining us on this cinematic exploration and for sharing your passion for the killers. Your engagement enriches the experience for all of us. Until our next rendezvous in the world of cinema, keep the love for the silver screen alive.